One of the most famous theories within the organizational change is Kurt Lewin's force field theory of change, and it is a really nice concept, so let's check it out. This is a theory that argues that two sets of opposing forces within an organization determine how the change will take place. So let's draw it on a simple graph. On our horizontal axis we have time and on our vertical axis we have level of performance. So the higher we are on this axis the better or the higher is the level of performance or you can also say efficiency, we can measure also efficiency with this axis. So let's say we have a company and we are on some given level of performance, let's say we are over here and this is a this is just some time period this can be for instance one year so over one year the level of performance in our company has not changed and we would like to of course improve it we have already learned about the organizational change and we know that its aim is to uh, increase the level of performance into some desired future state. So we look into the future and we are over here and we would like to increase the level of performance. So we would like to get somewhere over here. And then again, this, this can be some time period. This can be again one year. So we told ourselves that within one year, we want to get increased level of performance. So we want to do this step. And now the theory argues that there are these two sets of opposing forces and we have already learned a bit about these forces. We know that there are some forces for change, so forces for change. And on the other hand, there are some resistances to change, resistances, uh, resistances to change. And we know now that these two sets are the opposing forces. So the forces for change are there, they are motivating us to improve, to get to the better results, to increase our level of efficiency, to increase our level of performance. So these are there all the time and they are pushing us up and motivating us. And on the other hand, there are these resistances to change. There is this organizational inertia that we have learned about and they are pushing us down. They don't want us to change. And they are again at every point, so let me finish my drawing. So now you see, basically this picture is displaying the wall force field theory of change. And it's moreover this theory is telling us about the three possibilities how the, how the change will take place. So we have three options, one, uh, two and three. And they are quite, quite intuitive. First one is to increase, uh, increase forces for change, forces for change. You can imagine it, you know, that these guys really will get stronger and our company gets really motivated for change. So if we increase the forces for change, well, the change will take place. On the other hand, we can try to reduce the resistances for change, reduce um, resistances, resistances. And finally, of course, we can do both. We can try at the same time to increase the forces for change and reduce the resistances to change. Now, that's not everything. The force field theory of change is also telling us three steps or three stages about how the change should take place. The first stage, unfreeze the organization from its present state. So that's right over here. This point is somewhere, it's going on somewhere over here we need to unfreeze from this current state. You know, there is some organizational inertia, organizational national inertia, so that our company or our structure, our culture is not really willing to change and we need to use some tools and mechanisms to unfreeze it from its current state. Then we need to make the desired change. So we need to actually improve ourselves. That is this part right over here. And then third part, we need to refreeze it again so that, you know, these resistances for change are always going to be there. And even if we would get here and we would not try to refreeze the organization, well, it could go down again. So this third part right over here is the refreezing in the current state. So those were the basics from the force field theory of change.